The biggest movie plot twist that left audiences shook was in The Sixth Sense. Bruce Willis okay, this video probably seems very boring until I tell you that the whole thing is fake. It took AI expert Chris Matman less than 10 minutes using a new iPhone app called Captions to create this realistic avatar of himself, and now he can make fake Chris say anything. Dr. Chris Matman, the real one, he joins me now with more. Good to have you. Thank you so much. I downloaded this app today. I did this. Uh, I created my own avatar. It is Pretty scary. We'll talk about sort of the pros and cons. But first, how does captions work? Marla, thanks for having me on. Basically, the way captions work is you take a video of yourself for about a minute. Uh, use your iPhone. Uh, on that video, it asks you to say, uh, you know, a script so it can pick up your voice and clone your voice. Nowadays, AI technologies with three seconds of your voice can pretty much clone it. And this thing is no different. So you read the script. You take a picture of yourself posing directly at the camera and then to the right and to the left. And after you've done that, you have an AI version of yourself that's basically a puppet. Like you said, you can make it say whatever you want. You can give it a script. And it looks like it's plugged into a technology like ChatGPT, where you can even give it a prompt to have it generate a script for you. Yeah, and, and I did the prompt of, I'm a runner. I said, best running shoes. And it created an entire video of me endorsing a, a particular brand that, by the way, is not my favorite running shoe. So they got it wrong in my book. Uh, you talk about this tool being very powerful and useful, but in the wrong hands. Scary. Why? Marla, there was a story recently reported in Forbes about a couple of months ago in which a bank CEO got on a Zoom and his board told him to transfer $25 million from that bank to a different uh, offshore account. The only problem was that the people on that Zoom were not as bored, and they were bots, like this particular tool can generate. This tool has democratized deepfakes, and that's why I posted on LinkedIn and Instagram about this. I was so shocked that in under 10 minutes, I could basically generate totally realistic fake content and make it say whatever I want. So in the wrong hands, you could imagine politicians being faked out. You could imagine voters being faked out. You could imagine local authorities being summoned to a place. I mean, imagine SWATs, but using things like this, realistic videos, it's terrifying. What are some of the signs that people can look for that is an indication that it may be AI generated, that it may be fake? Marla, 99% of the population will have difficulty seeing these, uh, these cues. And so this is a couple of things that we wanna kind of point out to the viewers at home, a couple of things. So on this, First off, it doesn't cut exactly perfect. So you can see on, probably if Marla ever posts her video, but you can see on mine, the cuts are not exactly perfect. So you can catch like a little lag between them. The other thing is that the lip movement is really, really good, but it's not perfect. So when it says certain words, you can kind of see the lips not enunciate in the way that you expect. So there's a couple of what we call semantic forensics that kind of cue people off, but they're almost impossible like when you watch many many of these to discern you have to really be looking for it yeah well it got my favorite running brand shoe wrong i like my voice a little bit better it made it a little raspier a little deeper but i could tell i'm like that's not my voice uh it, where does ai regulation stand right now in the state of california so marla right now gavin newsom signed into law basically something you know kind of saying that AI deep fakes are illegal. And, you know, him and Elon Musk have been going back and forth on X about this because immediately when he did that, uh, you know, within the last few weeks, Elon had posted a meme and said, you know, basically enforce this, you know, on me and things like that. So it's been going through the courts right now. A judge recently decided that parts of that law are unenforceable. We're going to have to see. I mean, Ultimately, technologies like this that have democratized it are going to generate and flood so much fake content out there that you can imagine many, many of these cases are going to be tested in the courts. Well, uh, I want our viewers to know you are a very interesting follow on social. So look out for Dr. Chris Matman on social and give him a follow because I learn a lot from you all of the time. Uh, you make us all more aware. So thanks so much for being with us tonight at six o'clock. Marlon Alex, thanks for having me on. Thank you. Okay.